It's the philosopher coming at y'all live. Mm. Good morning. It's glad to be off of work, man. It's the philosopher with that part. Yeah, man, hit that like button, subscribe, please do, man. I hope y'all enjoy my last videos I've been making, you know what I mean? Talking about some real shit, man. Please, man, y'all niggas, get the JPay app, man. If y'all don't got the JPay app and y'all claiming to be real niggas and y'all don't got the JPay app, use a fuck, nigga, bro. Get the JPay app. Send them niggas some money, man. Ain't too hard, nigga. You making all that money, man. Whatever you doing, I ain't gonna say what you doing. Whoever, whatever. But you claiming to be a street nigga. You making all this money spreading on the internet. Send them people some money, bro. You don't think they see that, bro? They got tablets up there. They don't see you out there. You flexing when they call you. I think you you can't pick up or you ain't got nothing for them, man. Quit playing, bro. Give them some money, bitch ass nigga. Anyways, I want to talk about something. Real quick, I ain't, it's gonna be quick, and I'm, and I'm gonna let y'all see my face. And y'all watch these videos that I got for y'all. Mm. Keith with wax, a little light wax with some bud. Yeah, in the morning, but it's just stronger. Bit, I gotta take small here. I'm coughing like zip. Let's get to that. <laughs> that part, man. Shout out to zip, man. But look, man, gotta come back out here and do some more shit on my property. Listen. Man, well, Adam 22, bro. Y'all watch these videos, man. Adam is suspect. Everybody who smokes behind them, you gross, you nasty. You shouldn't be next to them. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's disgusting. Bro says she been burnt. He been burnt both together multiple times. He's about to allow his wife to get penetrated by... Yo, man, she got a BBC, man. She was fucking niggas way before she got with Adam. And she knew that. You know what I mean? And Adam knew he couldn't keep that up, bro. So y'all see, y'all tell me what y'all think, because I think, man, whoever involved with this, we need them out the culture, bro. We cannot have this in our culture. This white boy introducing this nasty European ass sexual wave to these people. And then our young youth is gonna think it's okay. These young girls gonna think it's okay while they married to go out there and get penetrated by another dude on camera or off camera. Look at this shit, man. And this is the people that got kids. They got kids and daughters. The main fear that a man in this world is scared to have, bro, out of children, out of son or boy, is the daughter. Especially when they could be like, ah, damn, I don't want a daughter, man. Y'all see what this, man. Shout out to Behind the Bob, man. You know what I mean? Great show last night. He always puts on a great show. You know what I mean? Start sharing and liking, man. That man puts it in. He got better content than a lot of people in the way he edits and puts it together. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this Adam 22 and this this interview, bro. It's, it's disgusting. Hold on, Len. I'm not like that, but you know what I mean? Like, like I, I just think, like, once you're, like, already have your brain around, like, oh, okay, honey, yeah, sure, you can fuck somebody else, or is divorce ever in these types of discussions? Like, if our relationship was bad, we wouldn't have been able to do this. If we were fighting, if we were not fucking, if we didn't have a good connection, I couldn't have had, a, first of all, like, the i don't know comfort to be like hey adam can i actually go do a scene with this other guy because other like in most man adam you a sucker but nasty as fuck communication that it was like that conversation worked and then you know every step of the way i even told him i was like if you don't want me to leave today to go do this scene you can tell me no and i won't go like there was constant like check-ins and i feel like most couples don't have that they're like texting someone on the side or whatever they're just cheating like yeah, because I've been with her for seven years, and she never, she never made me feel like she was going to cheat, always made me feel super secure in the relationship. And so that's probably a big part of why I felt comfortable. Hold on, the dreadful sky that way. Way. I think everybody or a lot of the comments I read seemed to think, oh, we must have this like really fucked up relationship, and that this was a sign of that, when from our perspective, is the total opposite. Where like our relationship was going so good that we were willing to, you know, take this step and i mean it's all a business thing but as far as just the sexual component i feel like we might have ended up doing something like this off camera at some point regardless have you got, have you oh guys, man uh, adam and Lena, have you guys openly ever cheated man ever pause ever? that's the philosopher man y'all hear this shit? so this is the way of getting revenge adam it all makes sense I've been working with her since like 2018 or something. Like I, I cheated a little bit like the first year or two of our relationship, and then I, I as it got more serious, she, she got her get back. You saying? They're trying to say it's payback. It's not payback. That was so long ago. Nah, that's all water under the bridge. Well, hold on, Dred. So you fuck wives for a living. 
don't know if you still retired from going on a world tour of fucking wives, but you know, there's in particular this call a wife right here. And uh, I'm just I'm just here to wonder, Dred, would you ever consider fucking Lena? I I would consider it. I have considered it. Um, so many people, Lena. Look at her face. Have been tagging um, us to work together. And not just, like, for the last seven years they have been. Exactly, exactly. So I, Man, I, it's I, over, I, Adam. Times, I mean, Adam, you know, you see how hot she is, you know what I mean? Very desirable. Um, and I think that everybody would go crazy with something like that, you know? And also... And hey, look at Adam, like, bitch, ass just sitting there. Throwing that uh, other girl in two minutes. Look at his face, y'all. Okay, this is my idea. This is my idea. He's upset. Red is... Lena's last porn scene. Like, when you're ready to end the game, that's the final boss that you have to defeat. Now, get the fuck out of here. In the game and at that point. We don't know. Brr, I, I mean, it. that kind of sounds more logical, right? I just think, I think Adam, once we keep feeding Lena, she wants to be That girl's scene, wet right, right now. want to stop. Well, okay, you've identified my insecurity there, which is that I'm kind of worried that she's going to get hooked on the black cock. Yeah. And that at some point, it's just not going to be enough for her, and she's going to want to be huffing a new one down every week. That's what <laughs> deep down inside I'm <laughs> really, really, That's why I'm trying to really, like, take our time and, and kind of ease our way into this so that I feel like it's, like, manageable, you know, because look at her. She's insatiable. Okay, so I'm, I'm not trying to call you up, but so do you submit it to have some type of insecurity, which is a man can do because you're admitting of insecurity. So, Man, look at his homeboys in the background. One, two, three. They smoke at them. You nasty. Four. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit. You know, you're, you're playing with fire when you're in a long term mm. relationship, and then you do this kind of thing. I look at she rubbing her leg. Look at be totally fine. I just a little bit paranoid about the chat. Still the chat, yes or no? Control, but like we've had the conversation. She seems very you're turned on by no. the idea that I'm ultimately the one calling the shots and kind of letting her go off and have All right, so sick so Adam basically Burr. shots in the situation i get it right have i ever had a, um an std i have never had an std yeah oh i was curious okay cool it really like, i'm one of the lucky ones deal. yeah it's, like literally they give you a shot in the ass and they give you an antibiotic for you to take for like five days like everybody thinks it's like the end of the world to get chlamydia it's like nothing. Like you, you can't shoot for like a week or two, which that sucks. But besides that, it's it's pretty whatever. What the fuck? Yeah. Dread, you have, I'm, I'm managed. No, go ahead. I was gonna ask about STD. So go, go ahead. I was just gonna say. I, I mean, it, it it happens. You know, it always sucks when it does happen. But um, I can honestly say, that with the measures that are taken to keep that from you know yeah, my heart drop. from happening. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid, you know, T uh, testing every two weeks, you know, and so, um, you know, I think they do a pretty good job of, of, of helping to keep shit like that from happening. It's happened to me a few times. It always sucks when it does, but it's not a routine thing, that's for sure. Nice. Cool. Me and Lena, every time that I've gotten burned, Lena got burned at the same time, so we're always twinning. Ew. It's like a bonding experience. It's almost like a very passive back and forth. Uh, fun fact. Philosopher, uh, man. Sure before, fucking nasty uh, ass motherfuckers here. Okay. Think niggas been burnt before, but <laughs> goddamn, these niggas just. Dred's well, Dred's camera's got an STD, clearly. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Dred's camera's got an STD. Um. Yeah. No, it's great. We are. I've never seen them fight ever, which I've seen like every other couple I know in my real life, like fight like nonstop. So, yeah, I mean, it works for them. Mm. I feel like all the girls in porn are like finally asked how to do this. I've seen a lot of girls in porn basically being like, like just extremely impressed by me because they just like never probably thought that I would take this leap, and then they're like pretty high on me. She is. Me and Dred fuck your girl together would be just for the memes of like her holding the white dick and then her holding the black dick and they're maybe I can get somebody to Photoshop mine and like give me an extra inch or two. I don't know. I got you, Adam. What the fuck, man? Hey, Scott. That's the one. Scott, what was it like taking Dred's dick from the jungle? You know, I've been listening this whole time, and I made note of the comment saying that it'll permanently alter. 
Stay tuned. You're so weird. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't believe okay. that? Okay, but I will say I think I return to normal. And Aiden can yeah. contest to that. Wait, did he do it before and after? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Yo, so wait, Scott, <laughs> would you allow, okay, if you, um, fuck what I talk about? Yo, Scott, what do you think about the whole thing? What do you think about this whole thing that's going on? I think it's really interesting. Honestly, like getting both sides of the perspective.